I rang a gentleman um, very high up in the rugby circles and uh, I just said, look, I just, I just want your opinion on something. One question, do you think it's possible for a female to referee Division 1A um, in Ireland, so it's top, top level in Ireland? And he said, joy, not in my lifetime. And that for me, I was in. Probably I, I was a bit naive to the, the magnitude of the award. To be honest, I didn't expect the reaction at all that I received. And yeah, it's, look, it's been amazing. I never decided to become a referee. And let's just put that out there because I didn't even contemplate it. It didn't, didn't even cross my mind. I was plagued by um, a, a good friend, Dave McHugh, he was referee manager. I said, not a hope, I said, no interest whatsoever. I don't even know why you're approaching me about refereeing. I've played 11, I've dedicated 11 years to international rugby and um, I just want to, you know, your priorities change. I met my partner at the time and I wanted to enjoy the little things of life. So I said, look, give me nine months and come back to me. And he rang me nearly on the day um, of nine months. And, um, and I said, right, we mean business. I'd say it took me a good six, nine months to properly enjoy refereeing, even even longer. I remember I went to the 2014 World Cup after I retired to support the girls and Helen O'Reilly was refereeing in that World Cup in France. I agreed three more months and something clicked. I'm extremely competitive and, um, and I suppose as an ex-international player, I knew what level I wanted to be at and I wasn't at it. I strive for that perfect performance and it, I suppose, it minimized the enjoyment level. And I think it was the moment that I realized mis mistakes happen. I don't really see myself as a trailblazer. People say it to me and I get quite embarrassed, but it's, it's lovely, it's lovely. I have a lot of support and um, it's, it's a nice feeling. It's more kind of like educating, and I think it's more the older generation to the fact that you can go out there, it doesn't make a difference of, of the gender of the, the person in the middle, it's just about the job being done. And often this, the, the little stories of coming into clubs and, oh, you're here to referee the third division men's game. Like, no, I'm actually here to, to ref the, the division one. And they're like, oh, you'll be able to keep up with the pace of play. And, you know, it's, I don't get defensive. Nine times out of ten, they come up afterwards, those people and those older men will come up afterwards. Wow, you're brilliant, when's your next game? Give it a chance, don't look for the perfect game because it will take from the enjoyment aspect of things and understand that it's all about the players, it's, it's not about the referee and it's about the referee being in the best physical and mental state. I always strive to remain anonymous, I think it's very important and, and, and in order to remain anonymous you have to get the right calls. To be um, involved in the Six Nations men's fixture as an official on the line um, would be a dream come true and whether that's achievable, I don't know but I'll try.